So Buddy said, Bob, take the car out. So Bob actually drove the first, I don't know, six or ten passes that this car made when it was brand new. He came across the car in San Antonio where it was being bracket raced with a small block Chevrolet in it. It didn't have all the body on it still. He bought the car, restored it. It is the original chassis. A lot of the tin work in the back is original. He found the Hemi and put it in it, and it is built as close to original as you can get when you've got the first driver that drove it restoring this car. It has a 426 in it, which Chrysler started building in 1964. They were built exclusively in 64 and 5 to be race cars in super stock when that was a big thing with NHRA. The top fuel guys found them and said, hmm, they got big ports in them, just like the 392 down on the far end. So they flow tremendous amounts of air when you put a blower on the top of it and encourage the air to go into the cylinders. You're running nitromethane, it's almost a mono pellet. And so you mash that in there with a bunch of air and you make tremendous amounts of horsepower with little effort. The car on the end is the Pesic and Lucas car which was built in the early 60s. It was raced in Nevada and California. Uh, that area, it lived there. And then it was retired in late 69 and put in a barn, basically. The car ended up on the East Coast uh, and the man with the hat on leaning against, whatever he's, le he's leaning against his starter car. There the guy waving. That's Jim Burgess. Jim came to a cackle and said, hey, this looks neat. I got to get one of these. He used to race top fuel Harleys, so don't get too close to him, but he's okay. Uh, he found this car up there for sale, bought it, brought it to Texas, put a big fuel tank in it so you can sit there and let them run and make all this noise and smells that y'all are going to get to enjoy in a few minutes. Uh, as I said, the car was campaigned on the West Coast exclusively. The last car, on my left, your right, is the Steve Carbone Tribute car. This car was originally Tom Hoover's front motor fuel car years ago. For those of you that don't know Tom Hoover, he was one of the national champions back in the day out of Minnesota. The car bounced around like so many of them and became a bracket racer with a small block Chevrolet in it and one thing and another. Steve and Jim Anderson, the young man leaning back here, found the car it, in Oklahoma. It had returned to that state. Steve Carbone was out of Tulsa. Oh, excuse me, National Anthem. We're going to start some cars. I'll get back to the stories later.